Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody posted this image and wanted to know how to create that. Well, the only way to create, create it exactly would be to trace it. And But I came up with this, and in just a few minutes, or a few seconds, really. And there's a lot of ways you could do this, and you could play around with it. So just draw your ellipse then go to your artistic media tool click on the brush go to textures and then pick a texture and I just played with two and I came up with that let's try this one and as long as your item is like kind of selected it'll go to that item See, there's a not so bad one. There's that looks pretty cool. And then you can change it a lot. You can make it, you know, thinner. Let's go to one inch. You could go to uh, more strength type stuff. But it really, I think that's only when you're doing it uh, more so when it's thicker or something. Uh, I think that's actually when you're drawing it. Uh, that bar there is a freehand. That's the freehand smoothing tool, so that's not going to help. I was thinking that was something else. But let's just back up here and let's pick another brush. Well, maybe it would be easier if I just made another ellipse. That bar is part of that drawing. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So with that selected, go to the Artistic Media Tool and then pick a brush. And it's going to kind of put it around there, uh, around your shape. And let's say that's pretty good right there. There's some other things you could do to it other than just leave it like itself. Control D and make a duplicate of it and rotate it on itself. It gets you a whole lot of different uh, breaks and flaws and um, you know you could change it up quite a bit you know that's probably too thick I'm not for sure what you can do with it because it's an artistic media tool you would need to break it apart and then get rid of that line but then you might be able to do some other things with it uh, Maybe change one of them to gray, maybe a little bit, you know, like that. That's more like the, the drawing. And so just kind of play around with that. So that's the brush stroke underneath the artistic media tool. I don't know if they call it artistic media. Yeah, artistic media tool. And under texture, and go to texture, and there's plenty of them. It's, uh, let's just try one more. So with that selected, and that doesn't really matter, you can select it later, but um, I mean, look at that, and then Control D, make a duplicate of it, and rotate it within itself. I mean, you can play around with that and get it any way you wanted it. Anyway. I hope that helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.